In this video, I'll be showing you how to add colour to the Swallow Puppet using water-based wood stains. In video 29, I'll go through exactly the same process with the Goldfinch Puppet. In video 30, I'll be showing you how to sand, add white paint and oil your puppet pieces. And for that video, I'll demo with both puppets simultaneously. Of course, I should say at this point that how you paint your puppet is entirely up to you. If you want, you can use acrylic paint or any other kind of paint that you prefer. These tutorials are an insight into how I make my puppets. So I'm going to show you what I do. Before I start the demo, I thought I'd explain why I like using water-based wood stains, as opposed to other kinds of paint. The brand I use is called Bulgars. I introduced these stains in video 3, and for information on suppliers, you can refer to the kit list, which you can download from my website on the tutorials page. So here's why I like using water-based wood dyes. Number one, they are translucent, not opaque like paints. The dyes soak into the wood, rather than forming a layer of paint on the surface. This means the wood grain shows through the dyes, and the finished puppet retains a woody tactility. Number two, puppet joints don't clog up and get sticky. This is a problem I've had with using acrylic paint. However, dyes can cause joints to swell instead. It depends a bit on the kind of puppet you're making. That shouldn't be an issue for this type of puppet. Number three. Being water-based, there are no fumes when you're painting. Later, in video 30, we'll seal the dyes into the wood using Danish oil. Danish oil is a bit fumey, but that's a very quick process compared to painting. Now, you may have noticed that most wood stains sold in shops are spirit-based and come in a limited range of colours, such as browns, teaks, natural wood colours. Bulgars produce a range of vibrant colours, which come pre-mixed, so you can use them straight from the bottle. There are other brands of water-based dyes out there. A lot of them come as concentrated pigments, which will need diluting with water first. I have put some suggestions for other brands on the kit list. So, for painting the Swallow Puppet, you will need your reference sheet from your carving kit. The colour swatches show you which colours go where. Black dye, neat from the bottle. Red dye, neat from the bottle. A 50-50 mix of blue and black dye. These cream areas will be painted white in video 30. But first we will add orange dye as an undercoat. Don't worry about the tail markings for now. We'll deal with those in video 30. Here are the colours ready for staining the swallow. Red, orange, black and the blue-black mix. Tip. You can transfer dyes from the bottle using a pipette. Step 1. Painting the swallow wings with black dye. So, start with the black dye and apply it generously. When you come near to the pencil line, use a minimal amount of dye on your brush. Otherwise, the dye will bleed over the line. A 
Apply black to the underside of the wing as well. Step 2. Painting the swallow wings with the blue-black mix. Now apply the blue-black mix to the top side of the wing. Again, when you come near to the pencil lines, use a minimal amount of dye on your brush to avoid bleeding. Step 3. Painting the swallow wings with dilute orange dye. Add orange dye to the underside of the wing on the remaining area, but dilute the orange dye with water a bit first, so that the colour isn't too strong. Step 4. Painting the swallowtail with blue-black dye. Apply the blue-black mix to the underside and top side of the tail. That's everywhere except the central area on the underside. Step 5. Painting the swallowtail with dilute orange dye. Now add dilute orange dye to that central area on the underside of the tail. Step 6. Painting the swallow body with red dye. Apply red dye to the area below the beak, as shown here. Use a minimal amount of dye in your brush to avoid bleeding. You'll also want to apply red dye to the top of the brow, as shown here. Step 7. Painting the swallow body with black dye. Apply black dye to the area around the eyes, as shown here. Step 8. Painting the swallow body with the blue-black mix. Apply the blue-black dye to the swallow's body as shown.
Step nine, painting the swallow body with the dilute orange dye. Apply dilute orange dye to the swallow's belly as shown here. Step 10. Painting the swallow's beak with dilute black. Apply dilute black to the beak. Use a darker shade for the lower beak and a lighter shade for the top. When it dries, it'll look grey. Step 11. Apply any extra coats if needed. I often apply two coats of water-based dyes to make sure the colour is really deep and rich. You might want to let the pieces dry first and then see if any need an extra coat. Also, I added a coat of dilute black to the underside of the tail to make it look a bit darker. This concludes the staining process for the swallow puppet. In the next video, I'll be staining the goldfinch puppet, but you can also skip ahead to video 30, where we'll be sanding, adding white, and oiling the pieces of both puppets. Bear in mind, you will now need to leave your puppet to dry before you move on to video 30. Water-based stains take a while to dry completely, I recommend leaving your puppet overnight. If you're in a rush, you can speed up the process with a hairdryer.